so one of the cool things about being a musician, a creator, is that you can um, look back at a recording, um, you know, a f performance that you filmed, and you remember exactly where you were at at that point in time. You know what you were going through, where where life was at, where your head was at. It's not unlike how a certain smell can take you back, or you know, you remember where you were at when you got some ink or that sort of thing. Um, so today's May first, otherwise known as May Day. And back in 2009, which was 14 years ago, I did a uh, quick filming of a, a few songs. I called it the Mayday Session, recorded those as well, audio tracks, and um, you know, put the put that stuff out on YouTube. And what was cool about that point in time is life was going well. You know, I just got married, bought a house, everything was just in motion. As far as the music goes, um, Casey Demott and I had just finished wrapping up a full-length record called live for today under the name sullivan demott um you know both of our last names and casey's a lifelong collaborator someone i've played with since middle school um, music writing music playing music together in bands all that stuff and you know it was really cool to take this collection of music that i toiled over all these years some of these songs i'd written in high school some of them i'd written as i was coming to make coming of age maturing learning a little bit about life living not that i ever have it all figured out but um yeah, stoked. And how was the world back then? Man, everybody was still buying music on iTunes and CDs and all this. So did the full on pressing all that. It was just it was a big, big, uh, big event and super exciting. So, you know, I didn't have a lot of gear. I think I had two microphones to my name and you know, a handful of guitars and just kind of found a way to make it happen. But for um, these videos, I think I just had some cheap webcam I tossed up and hit record and let her rip. And um, you'll see I was a little younger didn't have as many miles on on this body back then but uh yeah it was uh it, it, it was cool so i i went through the archives had to dig them up i actually didn't have access to the account that i'd uploaded them to so that was a whole thing trying to recover all that but i did i did get them and so here they are i want to share them with you um if you're new around here or you know coming back make sure you like in this video subscribing um i'm going to put these audio files on my website so you can go to the link in the description download them sign up for the email list while you're there and you know, i love to share stories with people on my mailing list a little more intimate around you know who i am what i'm up to that sort of thing so i'll um, be sure to keep in touch that way and uh yeah let's get into it so here's the mayday session from 2009 and we'll do this home movie style so here we go and I know First up, a tune called Beating Hearts with Broken Heads. Um, so this is a fun tune to play. Wrote this around the time back in, I forget what year, but 2008 maybe. I you know I was living in Oregon, came back to, to Michigan to visit, and um, you see these auto plants that you grow up driving past. And I was out that way and saw all this heavy machinery ripping it down piece by piece you know these places these buildings that had cranked out so many vehicles over the years and you know if you're if you're in this part of the world you know i'm sitting in the lansing michigan area right now and it's like it is the blood of the economy you know in michigan it's the auto industry and just you're the big three beyond it's like if, if you don't work for the auto industry chances are your neighbor does your cousins or wh whoever it's just the connections are there and you know the economy ebbs and flows as as the goings good and bad so um yeah, it's really just kind of a you know kind of a, a narrative on that and some of the some of the you know things that gone down with that through the years. You know, being a kid and seeing kids in my school you know move away because you know their parents' jobs had gotten moved down down south or or whatever. So um, that's yeah, that's it. And you know, at the end of the day, it's a it's a rock song, but it's a song of hope. It's a song of like, hey, you know, the the lyric is. And I know it'll get better next year. So it's like no matter what's going on um, with the times, and this is fitting, you know, not just to this certain situation, really all these situations. Like you just, you know, have hope and keep pushing forward, and things will get better next year. So that's the tune, and I hope you enjoy it. And 
The times are changing and they're shutting down the doors. The sun won't shine here no more. And I know we'll get better next year. Gonna go through the paces just to make you trust it. We don't need no excuses, but a long ride here. We're getting better. Better next year. So this next tune is called Way Back Home, and if you've been following me for a while, you know this one. It's been popping up. It's it's one of the most important songs I've ever written to me. I just I love it, and uh, you know, and I love playing it. I love the message behind it. If you don't know the story, when I graduated from school, I was kind of a situation where I was seeking an opportunity. I found it out on the West Coast, so I packed everything I owned in my little Saturn compact car and just hit the road. And it's not a road song. I say it's a don't be afraid to hit the open road song because I think that's important. You know, in life you gotta you gotta set out and you know, take some risk, have an adventure or two. And in this case, it it was a good one. And the song, you know, something I wrote pretty quick after I got out there, and uh, it's really a conversation with myself, the version of myself that's about to hit the road version of myself that had hit the road and the whole you know, do you know the way back home when you don't understand the road you're taking that sort of thing it's uh yeah it's just a great song um fun to play so i hope you enjoy it as much as i enjoy playing it and here's a version of it from 14 years ago Tomorrow and I won't shed another tear And I look way up on the mountains Where I thought that I would quench my thirst Because tomorrow's daybreak makes me put away my words How do you know the way back home When you don't understand the road you're taking How do you know which way to run when you don't understand those demons in your head The pain my soul so red The words that have been said There's something that I need To swallow the pill and see
standing there in my doorway and I, I won't let her leave, oh no, no, there's something about a night like this it needs, a little more soul and I am sold, I want down and beaten up, God I wish my insides would never stop, means something to be so tired that your pride picks you up, how do you know the way back home? Taking. How do you know which way to run when you don't understand those demons? How do you know the way back home when you don't understand the road you're taking? How do you know which way to run when you don't understand the Demons in your head I miss you already But you'll never be gone Hey, so this final song is one called I Miss You Already and I, I could even tell you what year I wrote this song. I was, I was young, um, definitely in high school, learning a lot about relationships and whatnot. And um, whatever was going on in my life, that was how I was expressing the way I felt. You know, I miss you already, but you'll never be gone. And, you know, looking back, it's a cool way of saying it. So, um, yeah, I mean, cool, cool anecdote about this song is... I actually still have the original demo I did back in the day, believe it or not, and I had a four track recorder where you put the cassette tape in and you get four tracks. You know, So if you don't know, a cassette tape has left, right, left, right, and these things would use all four, four of those channels to record so you could multi-track, pure analog, all that stuff. So um, that's how I wrote this song back in the day and, uh, and when we recorded in 2008, 2009, whenever it was. Um, definitely revisited of course and you know spiced it up a little bit but you know again it's a song that's uh it's one that i've played you know for most of my life at this point so um a fun one for me to play so here it is again 2009 you know you're getting the f version of me from at this point 14 years ago and i hope you dig it and uh enjoy My positive outlook 
God, my life has led me to you Cause you are the rose Among those weeds Cause you are the rose Among those weeds You already, but you'll never be gone. I felt this way for much too long. And as I look at my life, I wonder how it will go. I miss you already. But you'll never be gone Yeah, I miss you already But you'll never be gone And there you have it. There's the three tunes that I recorded and filmed back in 2009 with you know what, what was going on at that point in time in my life and uh, you know, again, these songs are from the Sullivan DeMott Live For Today record, which is out there in all the places you're going to listen to music. Um, you can get to it from my website, seananthonysullivan.com. And, uh, yeah, you know, again, like this video and get over to my website, subscribe to my mailing list, and you can even download the audio tracks there if you want. Check out the description on this video, and uh, it's been great hanging out, so take it easy. All right, bye.